Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today we're doing a very quick and easy install and a very nice upgrade for the Toyota Tacoma. Now this is a 2020 Tacoma, it's a TRD off-road, and this modification is an OEM part you can get right off Amazon, links will be below, I think it's around $50. Very reasonable for what you get and what it's going to help do. Now it only works for the 2020s and up though. So if you look for 2020, 2021, 2022 potentially, that's about it because there is a pre-wiring behind the tail lights that allow you to do this modification. Now what we're gonna do is take these plates that are right here, they look like this, and replace them with these nice OEM LEDs right here. Very nice, very bright. I'm gonna add a nice Nice white light here back in the bed and the best part is they connect directly with pre-wiring already installed by Toyota to your bed light which is on the very top of the back of the cab here up there and then when the doors are open at any point all three of the lights go on which allows you to come do a quick run back here pack up do whatever you need to do grab something with a little bit more light so let's get to this install so this is what you need to get this job done Toyota OEM bed lighting kit. Open that up, you have two wiring harnesses, you have two LED lights right here with rubber gaskets on the back, passenger and driver side. You'll need a 10 millimeter socket, and you need some kind of flathead or pry bar. What do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think? All right, let's get the install done. When you're all done, the finished product is going to look like this. Very clean and really helps with the lighting in the back of the bed. First step, take off the protective cover in your bed. This is the driver's side right here. Take a flat head, go underneath, push, and then pry, and then pull down. And you'll see how this works right here, like that. If you want, you can clean this up a bit. Next, you'll see you have five bolts. One, two, three, four, and five. 10 millimeter, you can either use a wrench or a ratchet, or if you have a impact driver like so, you can help loosen these up a little bit easier. Uh, also, you could try your drill, but these usually are pretty stuck in there from the factory. Oh yeah. So don't get too frustrated. They are a little stiff in there. Wrench and a mallet should work as well. All right, there you go, all five are out. Now you would think that the tail light would just wiggle right out, but there's actually two clips holding it in on top of those five bolts. So what you're gonna do, Wiggle it a little bit and pop it straight out. And what you just did was you see there's a clip right here, another metal clip right here at the bottom. So they're put in to these two holes here. So that is just one extra safety feature. Now I would just swerve this around and rest it right there. Next, take your lights right here and you have two ends on the wiring harness. You want to do the one with the white tag, plugs in here only goes one way, clicks in like so. So now take your light with the harness attached and put the wire through. Now I'll show you guys in a second, there's a large hole on the inside right here that you're going to want to grab the wire through first. And then start with the top on the light, push up, Click it in, it is as simple as that. Now back here behind where the tail light was, there's this large hole that I was saying, fish this through first. And if you fish it all the way through, you'll see there's a clip right here. And that is going to go into this little hole up back in here. You'll see that it's right here. It's just a hole this clip goes into. And that just kind of holds this in place. So you'll see that right there. Now it's good to know you could access all this from underneath the truck as well, at least the part that's behind this plate right here if you need to kind of help get this fished through. You can also choose 
the bottom hole if you want to put the clip on the bottom or the top it's really kind of made for extra plugs that kind of come through here from various lighting or whatever you need in here and then this is your next step right here I would suggest actually going from underneath the truck and popping this out here first because this little plastic cap that's holding this extra harness here in place is no longer needed so get underneath there and push this out once you get this cap popped out you'll see this is just a simple holder for this right here you can kind of see this kind of pinches and you got to kind of hit it out to get it out of there not the most simplest clip to remove but just kind of hit from the other side it'll pop right out take the actual piece out right there like so this you can dispose of and here is the part that's going to be plugged into this right here again only goes one way like so and then you can take your clip that's on the actual lighting kit new harness here and click it in there you go good as new once you have the lights installed the wiring harness through right here and clipped in and plugged into your tail light next you take your tail light very carefully slide her back in you have the two clips top and bottom you just go and push them in one and two good to go there take your bolts push the tail light in a little bit line these back up where they're supposed to go and then crank them down and do the exact same process for the other side good to note that these lights are not driver or passenger they can be either one moment of truth with minimal lights on in the garage there you have it. Doesn't show as bright on camera, but I'll tell you right now, it is night and day on what it looks like from the eye, especially in the back there. You can really actually see what's back there. And then also the fact that lights are a little bit high up, allow you to see a little bit more depending on how much cargo you have in the back of the bed. So this could be great for camping or for just road trips and you need to run back to the, the tailgate real quick and take a look at what's back here. Very nice addition. Something to note here, the switch that is in here, you have off, door, on. On means that the two lights we just installed go on no matter what, even if the truck is not on. Door means those two lights will come on when the doors are open, which is where I leave it. Very convenient. And then off, of course, is off if you don't want them going on at all. And then this is all linked to that bed light on top of the cab, like I mentioned. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. It's a really nice lighting kit. It's great that it's kind of integrated into the system already. So if you do need to run back here and check something, you just crack your door open or hit that switch to on and you can kind of easily use these. No extra switches or any kind of extra procedure to kind of get them going. And that just seems a little bit more convenient to me. Now, you could add additional lighting as well, depending on what you're doing. There's all sorts of really cool things out there, especially for like overlanding. But for things like this, for just traveling on a road trip or going to the range or something, you need a little bit of extra light for 50 bucks or so on Amazon. I think this is the way to go. So if you have any questions or comments, hit them down below. I'll be happy to answer them. As always, subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up. It really helps me out. Head over to Instagram. Follow me there. Like us on Facebook for all the latest and greatest deals on the internet. And I'll see you guys in the next review.